Today we're going to install the Pace Edwards Jackrabbit on this 2019 Ram 1500 new body style. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've already removed the canister from the box. I took off the wooden end caps from the end of the canister. I used a 3 8 inch socket to pull those off of there. That's just there for shipping. Then I went ahead and I put the box into the bed of the truck and set the canister on top of the box. What that does is that raises the canister up high enough where it's easier for us to slide the rails into place. Before we slide those rails in, we also need to turn the latch. This pulls the latches in. That way we're not fighting the latches as we're sliding the rails into place. So we went ahead and pulled the lubricant packet out of the canister cover packaging and set the canister cover to the side. Then we pulled the rails out of their packaging, opened the lube packet, pulled the towelette out, and then wiped down the inside of the rail. Now we wanna get the top of the wear strip as well as the bottom of that seal inside that channel. Okay, so this portion of our rail needs to slide into this part of the channel, and this portion of our rail needs to slide into this part of the channel. But of course, we've got this in the way. So because we have this opening here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this back to where the opening is in front of uh, this piece here. We're gonna make sure that the inside ledge falls inside uh, this lip right here. Bring this down far enough to where the blanket of the cover can go down into the channel. Then we slide it forward, make sure everything's lined up, and then slide everything together. Now, this is a very precision fit, so you have to line everything up before it'll slide in. So I lifted up the canister and pulled the box out of the way, dropped the canister back down in between the rails. Then I slid the canister all the way up to the bulkhead and then closed the tailgate. I made sure that I had a 1 8 inch gap between the closed tailgate and the end of the rail on both sides. Okay, so we're on the passenger side towards the tailgate. You're gonna see this aluminum spacer tab on the bottom of the rail. If you follow that back, there's gonna be a little cutout in your rail channel. We're gonna take our clamp, it's gonna slide up in there and catch the inside lip and then slide into the channel. Now we're gonna take our clamp half, slide it into place like so onto the clamp to where it's engaged and also pushing up into the bottom of the bed cap. Next, we're gonna take our star bolt with lock washer and flat washer. And we're gonna go through both sides of the clamp. And now we've got, this is called a barrel nut. That's gonna go into the curved area on the back side of the clamp and the bolt is going to thread into that. Now we're gonna get this bolt just kind of snug for right now, just to get it in place. And now we're gonna turn our attention to the kickstand. Now the kickstand is already gonna be assembled. We're gonna take the wing nut off the kickstand and we're going to insert that into the hole on the clamp and rotate it up. Now, if you're running into what we have here where it's too long to actually uh, push up against uh, the side of the bed evenly. We're gonna go ahead and pull that back out. Pull the cap off the end of the, the, the bolt on the kickstand and completely unscrew that bolt from the bracket. Now we're gonna turn that around 180 degrees and go through the opposite direction. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and put the cap back on. And now insert it into the hole and it should be short enough to where it touches the end of the bed cap. Then we can adjust that kickstand out to where it starts to push on the edge of the inside of the bed wall. And next we're gonna put our hardware, flat washer, lock washer, and wing nut on the opposite side that kickstand. Once that's lined up, we can go ahead and tighten down that wing nut. We're also going to go ahead and tighten down the star knob. Now that kickstand is going to set the level of the rail. So we're going to adjust that kickstand in or out to get this rail level. Um, if we adjust that kickstand to where it lengthens, this area right here is going to bring the rail up if we shorten that, it's gonna bring the rail down at an angle. The front clamp is gonna install the exact same, it just isn't going to have a kickstand. Go ahead and install all four of your clamps. 
Now we can go ahead and pull the canister cover out of its wrapping. We're going to line it up against the bulkhead. Make sure our sweep seal is facing away from the bulkhead towards the tailgate. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure that the hole in the canister cover lines up with the bracket that holds the capture nut that the canister cover is going to be screwed down to. We're going to put our black machine screw through the canister cover, line it up to that first bracket, then go to the other side, get it lined up to the second bracket. Next, we can go ahead and start tightening down that canister cover. As we do that, we wanna make sure the canister cover is lined up with the end of the rail to keep it straight. All right, now we can go ahead and install our drain tubes. The easiest way to do that is first take the, the end of the drain tube that routes the water out of the bed and run it out a hole in the bed. Then take the other end that actually attaches to the canister and attach it. Now you should have a blue seal on that. Make sure that's sealed properly up against the canister. Push that up into the hole in the canister. You should hear it click twice. Once that's in there, that drain tube is installed. Do the same thing on the opposite drain tube. All right, now on the bottom of the driver's side rail in the back next to the tailgate, we're gonna install this uh, Velcro strip. Now what we do, we go ahead and wipe down the surface with rubbing alcohol. We'll peel back the Velcro strip, get it nice and lined up on the rail. And this way we can Velcro our strap out of the way when we're not using it. Next, we can go ahead and test the operation of the cover. Now, I like to go ahead and tie the strap out of the way to the tie-down hoop. That keeps it out of the way when it's not in use. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pull on the strap. When I do that, that's gonna re-engage the latches on the rails. Now, now I can lock in increments 12 inches all the way to the tailgate. And I'm gonna close the tailgate, make sure it closes properly. Next, I'm gonna slide it back and forth. Now, side to side, if I have more than a quarter inch of movement side to side, then I need to install the additional spacer clamps. Now, because of the variations in the beds, sometimes those spacer clamps are needed and sometimes they're not. This one is not needed, but I'm gonna show you where you put them if they are needed. This is your spacer bracket that we attached the clamps right next to. If you need to install it, remove the clamp, pull the rail away from the bed cap, the shim will go up in between the spacer bracket and your bed cap. Then you just reattach your clamp and you're good to go. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.